Uh, thanks, Brian. Yeah, Fed Governor Lael Brainerd in a wide-ranging speech on the economy, the pandemic, and the outlook for monetary policy says the current pace of purchase will remain appropriate for quite some time. That's the hot-button issue she's talking about there, about the $120 billion a month of asset purchases the Fed is doing right now, with some Fed officials saying it may end this year. She's not talking that way. She says the economy is far away from the Fed's goals of maximum employment uh, and price stability. There's some risk to the upside, she says, though, from both the vaccines and a globalized, synchronized recovery if everybody gets vaccinated around the world. But the near-term outlook is challenged from the pandemic resurgence and says spending data points to a considerable loss of momentum. She calls the recovery a K-shaped recovery and says it remains highly uneven, talks a lot about people who have been disadvantaged in the recovery. Now, on the opening of your show, she talks about this issue of inflation, which you were talking about. Inflation expectations are up, she says, but they remain close to the low end of the historical range. They may temporarily, note that word temporarily, Brian, rise to or above 2% in a few months. That's the Fed's tolerance uh, in their new policy statement. And it needs to be sustained, a sustained improvement in inflation to meet and average the Fed's goal. So, Brian, um, I know people out there are talking about inflation, about prices being hot out there right now, the Fed right now not hot about inflation and price price increases. Well, I, Steve, it's it's the perfect segue because when you say people are talking about prices, you mean <clears throat> us and and me right now, Steve Leisman. Maybe Leo Brainerd could watch us next segment. Steve, thank you very much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.